Hi, my name is Colin from ECS Tuning, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Sprint Power Booster Converter on the RS4 B7. With this button, you have the options of three different modes. Stock, which has no change over the actual pedal. Moderate, which only changes about 10 to 15 percent. And aggressive, which will increase your throttle response up to 25 percent. To start off, you're going to need the Sprint Power Booster Converter Box that plugs into your stock accelerator pedal. Then you will need an 8mm socket, an extension, your socket wrench, a non-marring pry tool, and two zip ties. Now the first step of this installation is to take your non-marring tool and pry off your fuse panel. Once you have the cover off, go ahead and set it aside and you're going to need an 8mm with your extension. There's a screw right here that needs to come off. These are also 8 millimeters. So go ahead and get these off. And it should just pop right off with a little bit of love. Once your panel is done, you have a couple things you need to remove. First, go ahead and get your foot well laid out by pushing on the far side down. And that will give you better access to the connector. And you should just be able to pull straight up and let the light fall. After that, you're going to come over here to your OBD2 connector port. There are two tabs holding your OBD2 connector into your panel. Take your finger on both sides and push forward, and then the connector will pop out very easily. Now, make yourself have a little more room by removing the panel from the car. To the right of your brake pedal, you're going to find the connector we need to disconnect, which is connected to your accelerator pedal. It is a long, tall, skinny connector with a tab on the bottom and the top that you have to push in to get the connector out. So by pinching the top and the bottom, it'll come straight out. Now the Sprint Booster Power Converter plugs right into that stock connector. You plug it into the stock connector here, and then you'll take the stock wiring harness and plug it in right here, essentially sandwiching the connector between the two. Once you feel the click, go ahead and take the stock wiring harness and plug it into your new module. And that's all you have to do. This is the last part of the installation you'll have to do. You've got about four feet to move the power control button wherever you would like. In our case, we're going to mount ours right up here behind the ignition key. Since we're mounting our switch right behind the ignition key, we're going to have a lot of extra wire, and this is where your zip ties come in. So you don't have to tie the wire up and make it look messy. Just kind of coil it up and take a zip tie and go ahead and wrap it around. That way you get a clean installation. From there we'll take our second zip tie and go ahead and mount it on a firm item. All right guys, now that we got the hard stuff done, it's time to start reassembling all of our stuff. Remember to get your foot panel light installed back and on the plate. Back to the foot light. And reconnect your OBD2 connector to the front panel. Once you get it somewhat into place, go ahead and put one of the 8 millimeter screws in the side here and hold it in place. Now we got to replace our two 8 millimeter screws that were on the bottom of the dash. Lastly, install the fuse panel cover back in the car.
Once it clicks in, you're almost done. Alright, behind the actual button we have some 3M tape we just have to remove the backing off of. Pick whichever location you want and just press it on nice and firm. With the installation complete, it's time to get out on the road and try it out.